Sir Peter, uh, you are chairman of the advisory mm -hmm. committee to the mm -hmm. EPSR centre here at the University of Huddersfield. Mm -hmm. Could you just tell us, why are the EPSR centres so important to Britain? Well, I think that one of the things that we were acutely aware of is the fact that the economy, which used to be a manufacturing economy, had drifted into an over-dependence on the financial sector. And after the financial crunch happened, there was a re-examination of what UK economy should be looking like. You know, we've got one of the strongest science bases in the world, yet we weren't translating that into the creation of jobs and new opportunities in the UK economy for high-value manufacturing. So the initiative was initially to try to work out how we would support getting stuff of the very best quality from engineers, from scientists, that would really make an impact on manufacturing. Because after all, we're still the sixth biggest manufacturing economy in the world, but we'd like to be much better at it, because then you could balance the economy, you would have jobs for our children and our grandchildren. So that's one of the things that we want to be able to do in order to provide a, a high skill base, knowledge based economy. So that was the initial initiative for, for, for producing these ideas. The competition to actually get one of these centres was intense and Huddersfield produced a really good bid based about, uh, around the idea of advanced metrology, of measuring things accurately so you got first time right manufacturing. And the core of their bid was their very close engagement with industry, especially high value uh, manufacturing industry, Rolls Royce, René Shaw, Taylor Hobson, who put tremendous support into the university. When the initiative started, uh, the chief executive at EPSRC asked me if I would actually uh, be, be, be prepared to spend time looking after this activity. So I came up to look and I was enormously impressed by the activity here, by the focus, by the commitment of the university to do something special, to bring in industrialists. So our advisory board, we've met now twice, um, there's some very busy people sit on that advisory board. People who are designing aero engines for Rolls-Royce, people who are de designing machine tools that are going to go around the world, and they're willing to commit time and effort because they know how important this is going to be. So if you look at the breadth of people here, and their skill base and the leadership here and the commitment of time and resource, I think the University of Huddersfield can make a difference. Do you think the potential is vast? I think so. I'll give you an example. Rolls-Royce, they build aero engines. It's a major part of the manufacturing economy of the UK. Rolls-Royce engines go into aircraft all around the world. If you look at the way the fan blades work, you want to be able to understand how that fan blade is made, how much material goes into that fan blade, how strong is that fan blade. Doing the metrology of how you actually manufacture that turbine blade is something that they can characterize here probably uniquely. The idea that you could look at surfaces which aren't flat, are very complicated in shape and get it right first time with the minimal use of material and minimal use of scrap if you like, the stuff you discard. First time right engineering. That's where they can make a difference.